Alright, I had to do this review because I haven't uploaded anything in a while and the new main box is going to have Black Rose Dragon coming up in Blazing Rose. So, Black Rose Dragon is probably going to be a staple in most decks that can make it. Well, it should be, anyway. Time to use that six deck, extra deck slot for Black Rose Dragon. Essentially, you can nuke the field... And then, if you nuke the field without using your normal summon, you can use White Rose Dragon to reborn it. But that's still not enough to just OTK. But, if your opponent has used all of their resources to make their board, and you've just nuked them, you should be okay. You've got a 2400 monster and a 1200. Depending on your life points, it... Like, literally, it just depends on your life points, what they top deck into. Uh, I know Blue Rose Dragon is in here, which is just going to be, oh, when this card is destroyed, Special Summon Black Rose Dragon, or Plum. What I'm happy is, I finally get my Rose Warrior of Revenge. Now, the only reason I like this, it's a warrior... And it's a tuna, and it's a high level warrior tuna. Being at level 4, making some easy tuna plays. But, actually thinking about it, do we even have the cards to make it easier to summon? I don't know. But let's, let's just carry on with the URs and all that. This X Crawler is... Basically, ah, uh, goddamn it, Destiny Hero Plasma. Yes, that is it. When this guy is flipped face up, negate all monster effects activated on your opponent's field. If this card on the field is destroyed, you can add one level 9 monster with a different original type and attribute than this card. Which you most definitely won't be doing. So you'll be only using its effect for negation. Unless this is a level 9. It is not. Now for Million Dragon Mech. I've tried this out in the past. And it's pretty decent. It's basically a destruction card. And then if it's destroyed. You get to add one of the tuners back to your hand. That you banish to get the destruction effects off. Which is alright. You can get something back for your money. But it's essentially one destruction. For one cost. Well, it's not even a cost. It depends on how many times you use the effect. The first time you use it and then this guy dies. Then... You essentially just get back the tuna that you banish. So, I don't think... You can technically count that as a cost, but you just lost this monster. And you'll probably be able to synchro summon again because you've got the tuna back. Vermilion Dragon Mech? Eh. Making level 9s is pretty easy in comparison to some of the other cards. Alright, World Legacy, World Armor. I want to know if this is actually good. When a monster is flip summoned, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add a World Legacy card from your deck to your hand. If this normal summon set card is on the field, quick effect, you can target one face up mon opponent's monster that was special summoned from return both that monster and this card to the hand. Alright, alright, it's, it's pretty decent. Can only be used in like flip summon decks, but and not even that to be honest. I mean, if you set a card and just flip summon it, you would be able to do it. But how the hell are you getting off a of flip summon without your opponent attacking it? Black Rose, boom! Or you can keep it on the field for its other effect that no one's ever heard of. You can banish one plump monster from your graveyard and then target one defense position monster your opponent controls, change it to attack, and then its attack becomes zero. 
keep up the shrine. This is going to go in like every dragon deck, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Why would this card is in your hand or graveyard if a face up dragon monster, apart from this, is sent to the graveyard by a card effect or because it was destroyed by battle, you special summon this card. And then if that monster sent to the graveyard is a normal monster, you can add one dragon type normal monster from your graveyard to your hand. Which is really good. Keeper of the Shrine must have for any red eyes or blue eyes deck. Crawler Spine. Manny a bug. 2.0. That's essentially it. Black Metal Dragon. Oh. If you've bought that structure deck that just came out, the red eyes one, this is a must have card because you can just equip it to Slash as an extra equip. You'll get a power boost. It'd be more powerful than pretty much everything. And then, if you negate an effect, I believe if you negate an effect that targets, you still get this card's effect off. I believe. Which means you can just add another Red Eyes Fusion to your hand. Which is really good. I will be trying to get that. Once per turn, you can target a plump monster in your grave, special summon that target. You cannot normal summon slash set during the turn you special summon with this effect. If a monster special summoned by this effect leaves the field, destroy its card. Now, this is pretty good for like monster reborn. Like, it doesn't really have that much of a cost. We don't have that many monster reborn cards that reborn like high level monsters miracle fertilizer is pretty good i'll be honest though when it comes to the rose dragons i wish they weren't dragons and were plants instead because it would help their archetype so much more like you'd be able to get black rose dragons effect off you fucking be able to do loads more plays with them but because they're dragons, it's kind of bad. Metaphist Dimension. If your opponent special summons a monster during, except during damage step, you can target one of your banished Metaphist monsters special summon it. But banish it during the end phase of the next turn. If your other Metaphist card in its owner possession is banished while this card is already face up in your spell and trap zone, you can target one card your opponent controls, banish it. Hmm. Your other first cards in there and it's banished one. Hmm. Seems pretty powerful. But I don't really know how the metaphors work that well. Alright. I think this is the last of the princesses. So during either player's turn, when a card or effect that targets a card on the field is activated, you can tribute a plant, negate it, destroy it. Pretty good. If you can summon her, pretty good. And with uh, the continuous spell, she should be pretty easy to summon. Subterra Behemoth is probably the one I hate most out of this one. Oh, well, I'll say his name. Eurastix. You can target one monster your opponent controls, banish it. Just that. Just that alone is going to be an arsehole thing to do. That screws over so many decks, and because the decks are so limited in Duel Links. Oh my god, this... I believe, uh... This might be the era where Shield Crush gets used... Or noble, noble man is probably better. Just use noble man, yeah. Metaphys. This card is special summoned by the effect of a Metaphys monster. You can banish all other face up special summon monsters on the field. Well then, if this card is banished during the standby phase of the next turn, you can shuffle this banished card into the deck. Banish one Metaphys card from your deck, except this. Alright, staple. 
cock a doodle do if there are no monsters on the field you can special summon this card from your hand as a level 3 monster if your opponent controls a monster and you control no cards you can special summon this card as a level 4 monster but banish it instead So wait, if you special summon this as a level 4 monster, it gets banished, but if you special summon it as a level 3, it doesn't? I like it. It's pretty decent, the fact that you can change its level. It probably will never be a level 5. Because you'll probably be trying to use its effect to its fullest. So 4 and 3. can make some easy synchros with this. Alright, Rose Paladin. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the grave, you can tribute this card. Special summon one plant type monster from your hand or deck in defense. Wait, what? Oh, okay. You can send this card from your hand to the grave, add one level 7 or higher plant type monster from your deck. Hmm. Rose Paladin seems like a good, decent plump monster. I like. I like. Ah, oh, Red Eyes Baby Dragon. This is where it's at. Ah! When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the grave, you can special summon one level 7 lower Red Eyes monster from your deck. Essentially, best card. This is. I'm shocked that this is DSR and not the UR. Like, I see Black Metal Dragon being useful, adding Red Eyes Fusion and all that. But, <sighs> my god. I mean, you can just equip it to this as well. Da da da. Sadly, it will only go on Red Eyes instead of Red Eyes Slash Dragon, which is kind of a bummer. But, Red Eyes Slash Dragon can still use its effect if it's not the one encrypted with a monster or a card. Which is pretty good. Uh. Also, if you do negate an effect, you can add one level 1 dragon monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Which is gonna be... Alright, I'm tapping the screen like a madman. The Blackstone of Legend! Tribute this card, special summon the one level 7 or lower red eyes monster from your deck. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one level 7 or lower red eyes monster in your graveyard. Shuffle it to the deck, and then add this card to your hand. Literally, I believe you can run this probably at one, seeing as it's recyclable. And in a 20 card format, do you really need to run so many? You could probably run two. Oh my god, I am tapping the screen and the Metaphysk card does not want to come off. What the hell does Boogie Trap do? Discard two cards and then target one trap in your graveyard, set that target. Yeah. Okay. Crawler Axon is spell and trap destruction. Alright, cool. That that's pretty cool. Activate one of these effects also after that set this card face down instead of sending it to the grave. Change one set subterra monster on the field to face up attack or defense position. This is gonna be like what makes Subterra's good? This trap card. Change one face up Subterra monster on the field to face down defense. Attack and defense of one Subterra monster on the field becomes equal to its combined original attack and defense. Oh Jesus. This turn activated effects of Subterra cards cannot be activated. Hmm. I can see this card being a problem. And the last SR is one I've used fondly, Liberty at Last. And it's essentially, when you die by battle, target two face-up monsters, shuffle them into the deck. That is the one place cards do not like to be, is in the deck. This card is so good. 
The only problem I'm seeing with it is Black Rose Dragon can pretty much make it useless. Same as War of Dimension and all of those battle phase trap cards. But your opponent's not always gonna have Black Rose Dragon. So Liberty at last is probably gonna be a better card than any of the traps that we've gotten so far. Okay. There's a lot of good cards, but Liberty at last is going into my deck. Let's just say that. And as for the rares, uh, can't really say anything about Chevalier de Fleur is a card I've used in the past. And it's kind of a worse year. Which makes no sense to me. Uh, because it only negates during your turn. But once it's your opponent's turn, they just can go off on you. But, Sorcery Diffler is a good card. Uh, I'm kind of shocked that we're getting this, to be honest. Literally can reborn any card from your opponent's graveyard. The only problem is it cannot attack your opponent directly. But, literally if you summon a blue eyes and they've got, I don't know, a white spirit dragon on the field, you can attack over that for 500 and then 2,900 directly with this girl. Pretty beastly. I'm not gonna lie, kind of shocked that that's a rare. Uh, she is a spellcaster. I'm sure there's spellcaster support that summons her with these. Uh, magical android is finally becoming a card. Which of the black roses is a risky, risky ass card? But can give you draw power. So, depending on how you build your deck, maybe maybe you'll be able to use her to our full potential. Uh, I think that's about it. Like, Black Rose Warrior and all that. Like, Rose Warrior is a card that I want to get. And, th yeah. I think we talked about all of the major cards, so that's about it from me. Copy Plant is here. It's alright. It's alright. It. I kind of hate Copy Plant due to the fact it's probably one of the cards that should help Black Rose Dragon, but doesn't at all. Due to the fact it copies monsters' levels. Ah. Uh. Because, essentially, you'll copy a level 3, and he'll be a level 3. And that's a 6. You copy a 4, and you copy a 4. That's an 8. 2, 2, 4. Like, you can't make Black Rose Dragon with this unless you don't use its effect. Which is wild to me. Or unless you use, like, three monsters to make Black Rose Dragon, and that just seems like a waste to me. Alright, that's all. Bye-bye.